So since it's World Mental Health Awareness Day today, I thought I'd teach you how to make one of these. So this is a grounding box. Um, I made my very first one on the art therapy course. You put in loads of stuff you love. They all ground your senses, so sight, smell, hearing, um, touch and taste, all in one little box. You're grounded, it helps control your anxiety, any panic attacks. I keep it in my bag just in case I'm on the go, have a little bit of a moment. Whip it out, no one knows what you're up to, just minding your own little business, grounding yourself. You're fine, you don't need to leave that building anymore, you don't need to leave that room, because you've got it all right here in this little box. So step one, how to make the box. This one needs to be cut into a square, so here's one I made earlier, a bit like Lupita. Now we've got a square, we want to be folding it in half, and then half again, so that we've got um, a cross. From here, we're going to fold in each of these corners like this. And we just fold them all in until all four are in the middle. We then fold them both in on each side so the right goes in and the left will come in. And then you literally do the same thing again but on the other side. Next, we're going to fold out two of these sides and on the other side, bring them up. So we need to fold up these two sides one side up, the other side up, and pull this over those folded sides, like so. Now you just do the same thing again, and you've got both halves of your box. So now it comes to filling your box. This is the fun part, this is the personal part, and it's what's going to help ground you. Making the box is just a nice process, can be good to like unwind if you get a lot of anxiety, but if you're not pretty artistic, you could just buy a box and do this. So in my magical art box of bits and bobs, I've got lots of stuff to help ground you. I might stick some fluff in my box. In this box, I've also got feathers. Um, so they could be really good. They're also good for sight, so the colours on this or the colour of your feathers. You're ticking off two boxes there in one. Another thing I love for texture is these little stickers, which I've stuck all around the outside of my box. Just run my finger along them when I'm freaking out. Um, and also, like, loads of different colours again. You're ticking off both touch and sight all at once. <laughs> I filled up one of these little glass jars and put it in my grounding box with lavender oil um, and I also put blue glitter inside mine so that it looks super fun. Get a waft of lavender, that's going to help calm me down because lavender is calming but also just grounding that sense of smell. You can also buy things like lavender bags um, so you could just carry one of those in your bag if you find smells like one of the main um, senses that helps ground your anxiety so just find out what works for you. <laughs> On the sound, I got a little bell. Um, but I also like to stick my headphones in, listen to a few waves, listen to some birds tweeting, a little bit of flute music, whatever you might fancy. I've also got different leaves in my box. I find being with nature can help calm me down, bringing nature to me with a few leaves in my box. Um, you could even put some fresh flowers in there, especially if you wanted something like lavender and cut that up and stick it in. And finally for taste, I stick a mint tea bag in there because I know that mint tea is going to help me calm down. If you're a bit of a chocolate fan, you could stick a little one of those in there, a little sweet in there, carry a biscuit with you. Just stick one in the box every morning so you know you've always got one in the day. If you're having a really bad moment, you've got that sense of taste right there as well. You could get something like toothpaste or toothy tabs, stick one in, brushing your teeth. You're not actually eating if you don't want a little snack in there, um, but you're still getting that sense of taste going. I then decorated my box, so something I found really important for me um, are these little phrases that I've put around the side. So if you know there's um, any grounding phrases you have or anything that makes you feel safe, that's really great to write on there. So that I ground myself logically as well. I have like, today is, so it'd be like 10th of October, um, I am 21 years old. Today I did, um, so I went to Cardiff Castle today. Um, and I also made this video, so that's like great validation. Um, I know exactly what I've done, even if it's getting out of bed today, like you can validate yourself for those little things. Um, and finally, I am safe. 
evaluate your surroundings first if you might not be safe obviously then find a way to get into a safe space so just remember when you're making your box you want it to be really personal to you touch might be your strongest sense um sound might be so just find whatever little thing is really going to help ground you in that moment practice it when you're not in that moment just so that you've got the feel for it thanks guys this was how to make your grounding kit on mental health awareness day 2018 i was liz bye